Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to change the size of your world on your Terraria server. Changing the size of the world on your Terraria server is fairly simple. Firstly, locate where all your server files are stored. On Server Pro, this is found on your control panel under the files tab here on the left. Then what you need to do is stop the server. This is very important. Next, scroll all the way down until you see the file called terraria.properties and open it by clicking on it. You can find what all of these options mean on the Terraria wiki page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. For now, what we're looking for is the auto create setting right here. There are three options for the size of the world. One is small, two is medium, and three is large. Change this to whatever you like. I'm going to change it to large, which is three. After that, what you'll need to do is create a new world. This is because you cannot change the size of an already existing world without some sort of third party software. There may be a few programs out there which allow you to do this, but that's out of the scope of this video. So let's create a new world. To do this, just change the world name option here to something new. For example, world underscore large, and also change the world option to the same thing. Do not remove the .wld part at the end. Again, please make sure that when you do these changes that your server is offline. I also recommend that you don't use any special characters or spaces in your world name. Only use letters, numbers and underscores. Now save the file and start your server back up. As you can see from the console, it's creating and generating a new world with the size we specified in the terraria.properties file. A large world can take some time to create, so please be patient. Once it's created, you can also see the new world in the worlds folder right here. And when I log into the server, you can see that the world that we have now is large, whereas before it was small. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.